everybody, I'm Pastor Ross and welcome to today's devotion. As usual, we'll be following the noon order of daily prayer as found on page 296 in the hymnal. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So let's talk about baptism today. So we've talked about what baptism is, what baptism does, how it is a work of God, and not just mere water. Today we're going to finish out uh, our topic on baptism. What does such baptizing with water indicate? It indicates that the old Adam in us should by daily contrition and repentance be drowned and die with all sins and evil desires, and that a new man should daily emerge and arise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. Where is this written? St. Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And that's from Romans 6. And, and Romans 6 is a great passage on baptism, how, how we are dead and made alive in Christ Jesus. So, who is the old Adam? The old Adam is our sinful nature, the, the old man, the old self, the flesh, right? It's our sinful nature. And even though that has been put to death, as, as Luther describes it, that guy is a great swimmer and he clings to us and we still give in to sin and so we should daily drown the old Adam in the waters of our baptism. In fact, he, he says every morning when you wake up and you wash your face, remember I'm a baptized child of God. And so what's a great corollary for that? Well, every time you, you wake up in the morning and you, and you take a shower, every time you wash your hands, you should be reminded you are washed in the waters of baptism you are washed in the forgiveness of sins that God has forgiven you of your sins that's what baptism indicates so what is the new man the new man refers to us as restored creatures of God in Christ we have been united with Christ by the washing of rebirth which results in new spirit created attitudes desires and actions 2 Corinthians 5:17 therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation the old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So how did the old man and Adam interact? They are engaged in an ongoing life and death struggle with each other. The new Adam is trying to put to death the old Adam. And the old Adam is trying to put to death the new Adam. Galatians 5.17 For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing these things you want to do. So how does baptism picture what the Christian's daily life should look like? When the waters of baptism we have been buried and raised with Christ, therefore we should continually resist every impulse of the old Adam until he is drowned once and for all when we die. At the same time, we should continually give free reign to the new man until he rises in the final victory on the last day. So Ephesians 4.24, put on the new self created at the created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So, you will see oftentimes at the beginning of services in, in our hymnal, whenever you see in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you'll see a little cross there. Or at the end of the creed, you'll see a little cross mark there. And you'll see this little note that, that all are encouraged, basically, to cross themselves in remembrance of their baptism. And, and you don't see it because I, I put a slide up, but when I start these things, I say, you know, in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I am crossing myself, not as some superstition, because I, I am remembering I am baptized. I have the name of God written on my on my forehead and on my heart. The waters of Christ, uh, the waters of baptism have saved me. I am a new man. And you, if you've been baptized, you are a new person. And so every time, you hear that the triune name of God, the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the name of which I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you can 
absolutely make the sign of the cross. It's not a Catholic thing. It's not an occult thing. It's a remembrance of the wonderful gift that you are given. The wonderful gift of forgiveness. That you are a new man. That your sins are washed away. You're a new creature. Uh, you're, you're a new creature. You have a new beginning every single day. Every single moment, you get to wake up and be a new person. What happened yesterday, the sins committed yesterday, are forgiven in Christ Jesus. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that's what baptism indicates. I'm a new person. I am not what Satan claims I am. I'm not a sinner, but I am saved. In Christ's name. Let's continue with our devotion. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for life as a baptized child of God. Merciful Father, through holy baptism you called us to be your own possession. Grant that our lives may evidence the working of your Holy Spirit in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, according to the image of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. We conclude, Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the little bell, and you'll be notified anytime we post a new devotion or go live with worship. God bless, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.